I am so excited for this series, and I'm curious, what are you guys most excited for people to see in the Rings of Power? There's been some incredible love, care, and attention to detail put into the show in every single aspect, be it costumes, the set design, um, the performances. Uh, I'm really excited for people to see the specificity of the detail and love brought to life, I think. I think Numenor, I'm really excited about, like, I love the beginning where you see Isildur refuse to throw the ring into Mount Doom. And I'm really looking forward to people seeing, like, Isildur and Elendil and Numenor. Their story. Yeah. Yeah. I love learning about the behind the scenes, the making of a show. What do you think uh, would surprise people to learn about the making of this specific series? Um, I think what really surprised me um, was the prosthetics team. Um, Like, we were really lucky that the orcs are all... Um, practical um, and also what surprised me was the fact that that means that you're getting in there at 7 a.m being like gosh it's so early and the orcs have been there since half midnight yeah. getting their prosthetics put on Ridiculous and it, it is incredible it's really frightening I mm. feel like really lucky that we got to actually be terrified like very nice people but in prosthetics yeah and then got to see them eating lunch mm. yeah and I'd, I'd say the simplicity of some of the things um, yeah in such a vast production and such a vast world, um, the simplicity of some of the processes. There were parts when we were on the raft and there would be occasions when we'd have huge wind machines and wave machines going and other times when it would just be guys with buckets of water throwing the water at us because the wind machines make too much noise. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes simple's best. Without spoilers, do you have, what's your favourite of the eight episodes and why? I think the first episode has a special place for me um, because you're being reintroduced to Middle Earth yeah. and Middle Earth at a different time. Um, and I think also just in terms of us filming, we had to stop filming the first episode um, yeah. because of the pandemic. And coming back, we loads of us thought we wouldn't necessarily get come back to film and coming back to film it was just so wonderful. So I think the first episode for me. I'm going to say the opposite. I'm going to say the last episode, the eighth uh, episode. Yes. Uh, but I'm not going to say why. So I'm going to leave uh, yeah. a few details, you know, unexplored. A lot of the, your fellow cast have said episode six and seven. So I'm very curious about seven. But anyway, um, when you think back on the Lord of the Rings, the original trilogy, do you have a favorite moment from those films? Yes, it's when yeah. Aragorn comes through the doors at Helm's Deep. Very and that had a like a profound effect on very me. Sexy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say mine is in the Fellowship when um, the hobbits have just left the Shire yeah. and they're being chased by the Ringwraiths and they're hiding under the road under that um, the, where the roots are. Of the <laughs> oh tree. yeah, so scary. I've just so and I was quite young when I first watched that and I found that bit terrifying and it's always lingered with me. Actually, though, like, it's not necessarily favourite, but probably one that's had the biggest effect to me is that I can't, like, eat a cherry tomato without thinking oh, of Denethor. Denethor eating the, yeah. the tomatoes, the that singing. Is, yeah. I, I want to switch to the Southern Seas and uh, filming that specific sequence. Did you do any sort of advanced training to be able to be in that tank um, and, you know, film that sequence or sequences? Yeah, we did lots yeah. of training with amazing people. Yeah, some amazing people at the top of their game that were... Yeah. Train. We had Trent Bray, who's a really accomplished swimmer, um, that, that taught us to properly swim. I think, yeah. which was pretty amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, dive instructors. Yeah. We had we we learned to free dive, um, to spend a bunch of time underwater, which was a grueling, difficult, yeah. challenging process. But uh, it, the payoff was you know I hopefully it'll show in the show because yeah. we wouldn't have been able to do what we did without that training yeah what else? um I think that's the water stuff and then we did it I mean we did a lot of stunt training and fight training which all bled into yeah the, the work we do on the raft I will say actually Mordeveth was much uh more balanced than me on the raft there was a lot of on the waves I I would fall over quite a lot and fall through the cracks in the raft but neither of us ever actually fell off no which I can't actually, believe yeah. Like touch wood. I yeah. not that we're going back on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, um one of the DOPs fell off the um paddleboard and Oh yeah, yeah, that was funny. So not everyone came came away and lots of hazards out there. Yeah. What did it actually mean to both of you to bring this location to life 
for the first time in any sort of Lord of the Rings, you know, project. We were yeah. really excited about that the whole time. Yeah. Um, because you don't spend much time in the ocean. Yeah. Right. In other adaptations. Um, and I find water really frightening, which is why, like, I was quite scared before the dive training because, like, it's the unknown. Mm-hmm. Um, and I felt really lucky as well that we actually, because of the way they did it all practically, it felt like I did actually experience this under seas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That we spent, and we spent so long because it was such a complex sequence. We spent weeks and weeks out there in two two different locations as well in yeah. a big outdoor tank and then in a five meter deep dive tank um yeah. so yeah it's it's really exciting to i guess explore the oceans of of arda of the areas around middle earth between middle earth and numenor what can you actually tease about the relationship between your two characters in that sequence um i think it's two people who meet so by chance yeah. and like G- gladriel is a legend of middle earth even though she's not even she's got thousands of years left to live and she's already legendary um and hal is incredibly normal it's just a dude yeah it's just a middle earth dude <laughs> <laughs> like their meeting shouldn't yeah. have happened but i think when they meet from hal's perspective he knows there's something special about gladriel um sure. And I won't divulge if he knows exactly who he is, who she is. Um, I I have a decision on that, but I think it's best left ambiguous. Um, but yeah, I I think from his perspective, she brings out some things in him and and illuminates some things in his mind that he hasn't necessarily considered. Things about his own life and his own past as they get to know each other a bit more. But certainly when they first meet. I think he's quite standoffish and um, distrusting of her. Is there anything about the scene that uh, tests them specifically? I'm, I'm sort of hinting at, is there anything below the water that is testing them hypothetically? <laughs> well, I think for Gladriel as well, though, she's an elf alone. Um, so mm. it's above the water as well. There are she's certainly... surrounded by humans. Yeah, exactly. And there are certainly dangers in, in the Sundering Seas. So they're tested physically and mentally i think at that point in the story for 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 hal certainly and i think for galadriel is that it's an it's a moment of survival i have to survive yeah. and they end up using each other to survive one of the things i thought was cool about the the pictures is that the tank was built uh like on a back lot and you had natural sunlight coming in to to illuminate the two of you and i know looking at vfx shots when it's all fake light it looks terrible but i would imagine that it's going to look amazing. What what did what was it like filming in natural light? It was cool. It was pretty. Yeah. It was pretty amazing, particularly in in the harsh New Zealand sun, which could yeah, be, it's bright. I ended up, you know, you you would it would be challenging by the end of the day because you're outside and and it's so glary and you're surrounded by sort of like a backdrop, I think, which was white, so it reflects a lot. Um, but it was a it was a pretty spectacular place to film. The tank was so vast. Yeah, it was huge, and it did give you that feeling of particularly when you're you're plonked on this raft and pushed out into the middle yeah. of it and you're actually quite far from the rest of the crew you do feel isolated yeah and because it was so big you could suspend your disbelief that it kept on going yeah um, yes yeah, so it was really cool on that note i need to stop i sincerely mean it when i say i cannot wait to see the series and um look and talk to you when i've actually seen episodes you know what i mean right yeah yeah oh lovely to meet you lovely thank to you meet so you much. thank you so much thanks for your time